All right, hello there. So today we're going to have a look at network hardware. Um, so obviously connecting devices doesn't happen just by magic. You, you need certain pieces of hardware. So um, the first piece of hardware that every device needs is what's called an NIC, which is a network interface controller. Okay, and then I see. So basically what it is, it's an internal piece of kit. It's an internal um, heart piece that allows any device to connect to the network. Okay. These are, you. they used to be on separate cards, but nowadays they're built into the motherboard. So they're part of it. Okay. And NICs exist for both wired and wireless connections. Okay. So you need that and that needs to be there. Okay. Um, if you damage it, you know about it type of thing, you know. Um, the second thing you're obviously going to need is what's called switches. Okay, so they connect devices on uh, LAN. Now, if you've been with me in school, you'll probably see a cabinet full of switches. Okay, switches receive data, okay, in units. So, the, so data comes in in a unit called a frame from one device, okay? And so you've got a frame of data from one device, it goes into a switch and it gets sent to the device you're meant to be sent to using the correct MAC address. And we'll talk about MAC address um, another time. So switches and MAC addresses go hand in hand. They basically, for want of a better word, the MAC address is like the, the postcode. It's specific to each device. The switches are kind of like the postman. It knows where to send the package, you know, inside the LAN. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a router. A router transmits data between networks okay that's very important between networks okay and um routers have a very important um very very important um, job because once data leaves one network for the other the router is key in making sure it's going to where it's meant to be going okay so routers are obviously used in homes and offices to collect the LAN so routers are mainly use main use is to connect your LAN to the WAN in this case the internet that's its main use. Most home, and I use this in inverted commas, routers, or sometimes now they're called hubs, they'll have the router, the switch, um, and they'll have a WAP, which you'll see in another video, a wireless access point, all in the one go. Okay, so they're kind of, used to be all separate, and you can still customize these things if you want to be particularly nerdy about it, but they're now all in the kind of one, you know, package. You know, it's by the companies. It makes sense for the companies to just send it all in one package. Um, what else is there in your home? Well, you're going to have your Ethernet connection. They're used to connect devices in a LAN. You know, in school, they're the ones that plug back into the, the PCs, okay? At home, they're kind of dying out because virtually everything now is either being done using the Wi-Fi or whatever. But, you know, you'd, some people will still have an Ethernet connection. Um, the most common Ethernet connections are what's called CAT5 and CAT6, okay? Um, they're twisted. So if you ever kind of have a look at it, the copper wires, which is, they're, they're twisted around each other in a certain way to, to, to reduce interference between the different copper wires. Um, the other thing you might have in the house is coaxial cable. Coaxial cable, the old-fashioned cable. 
Okay, I don't know if you've ever paired it back, but what you'll see is a copper wire and then plastic, and then you'll have silver paper, and then around that you'll have more copper wire and then plastic around that. So you get that kind of thing going on. Um, obviously the plastic is for insulation. You get a metal mesh for shielding from outside. You know, so there's a whole other kind of cool little things that go on with the coaxial cable. Um, in most houses, that's probably used for your television signal coming in, covered in brown um, plastic. You'll often see it. Um, and then, of course, what's coming into houses now is fiber optic. And there's two types, fiber to the cabinet and fiber to the home. OK, fiber to the cab fi fiber to the cabinet means it's at the end of your street. Fiber to your home means that it's stuck into your wall. OK, obviously, fiber to the home is better than fiber to the cabinet. Fiber to the cabinet is better than no fiber at all. You know, so it's as simple as that. Um, fiber optics, they use light. OK, so you can imagine a tube of glass, tiny tube of glass. They shine in light at one end. And an angle and if they get the right angle they get what's called a critical angle and anything below that and you get internal reflection the light will just bounce inside the whole way along at the speed of light which is pretty cool okay there will be a tiny amount of bleeding of the light but it's very minimum okay and they, they have little tricks in order to stop that happening and obviously light travels at a particular frequency and the frequency that it travels at you can modulate and you can modulate that frequency that means you can send signals hence how it sends data okay um so it's just this is just a very quick video but literally you've got everything you need here you've got your nic which is in every device okay you got your switches your routers and your WAPs, which I haven't talked about during the next video, but they're all probably in one single device in your house nowadays. Okay, what's the purpose of a router? It connects networks. In most cases, it's connecting the LAN that you're using to the WAN, which is the internet. Okay, the switches connect within a LAN. They allow different devices to talk to each other. Okay, so mostly you won't see that happening a lot of the time in houses, not, at least not formally you see it more in bigger businesses where you have lots of maybe pcs connected up to a big giant lan um cable wise ethernet connections still useful still useful coax dying out fiber optic definitely coming in but within a house the real connections you're talking about are your wi-fi and your bluetooth which we will talk about in another video okay thank you very much